act of desperation. The conduit... All is lost! It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. It cannot be stopped! Cannot be stopped! Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to more of Mass Effect. This is Hill, and we are here on the planet Ilos. This is the final mission of Mass Effect. And we're here with Sindaria Shepard, Dr. Liara Tassoni, and Caden Alenko. All right, we are trying to get to a control room to unlock the passageway to a bunker in pursuit of Saren. All right, let's go. I had a bad feeling about this. Let's see, it's pretty quiet though. Uh-oh, Gath. Get ready. Wait a minute, did I hear Liara go down already? What did they hit us with? None of but nobody has powers? Look how fast those things are moving. Are you kidding me? I lost shield. Yeah, Liara is down. I think Caden might be down too. Wow. Alright, let me toss out a singularity. See if that helps. There we go. Probably not. Let's see if I can't throw the Geth Prime. certainly didn't go as planned. All right, let's try this again. Not sure how we can do this differently, but let's go. Now you guys need to stay alive. That that's Before you go down, Liara, I need lift. Caden, if you could give me some overload, I'll throw a warp in there. Liara, if we can get overload on him, sabotage. Our Geth Prime is back up. Let me throw him. Looks like he's down. All right, who's this here? Uh, Caden, if you would throw him. I'll warp him. It's a destroyer. Okay, he's down. All right, we've got a shock trooper over here. Caden, Overload, Liara, Throw. All right, we got another one, Liara. Oh, she's blocked. All right, then Caden, Throw. All right. Liara, Stasis. Good work. Alright, watch out for that uh, rocket. I'll take care of the Stasis. Oh, we got a way.
wait for him to come out of stasis. I don't know how long the stasis lasts. Okay, it looks like he's moving again. Alright, let's warp the crap out of him. All right, that rocket trooper, did you guys get him? Looks like we're clear. We All right, good work. Second time is the charm, they say. <laughs> All right, armor, oh, repair. I'm just gonna go with the Omni Gel. Do I need to repair all these things? Alright, I'm getting like stuck on stuff. I should have enough Omni Gel to do all this. some more on the other side. And I really never understood what I'm doing. I don't know if this helps me get in the control room. I, I think it does. Or activate the control panel. Alright, I'm getting experience for this too. And unfortunately, we're still like a, a, a hundred thousand credits shy of level 60. So, we'll see. We'll see how far I can get. But it is mandatory that I must make it to level 60, even if I have to resort to console command. So, we'll see how far we can go. Alright, I think we've opened all these things. See, now this is another area that I would get lost in. Just like I am now, okay. Isn't this the way, though? Is this the way we came in? This is not the way we came in. Okay, but this is nothing but just a, a little ramp here. And I saw... Oh, do we want to go out this? I think there's something that I'm supposed to do here. Alright, here's another ramp. Let's see where this takes us. I think this is what we were looking for. Come, Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fault Reapers. The Citadel. 
Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. Wow, you talk about uh, a warning. Okay, did I get what I needed from here? I don't see anything else. Oh, wait, there's another ramp headed up. What's up here? Okay, doesn't look like anything. All right, so we need to go back down. There's a, a beacon on our map. All right, this is where I was trying to find this corner because there's a uh, crate over here. Let's go ahead and open it with Omni Gel. All right, so an Avalanche 10 shotgun, a Sokolov 10 shotgun, and medium human armor, which we can't use. So that means Omni Gel for all of it. Okay, so we have an arrow pointing. I think it's over here. There should be a tunnel. Yes. All right, so apparently that was the console we needed to open the bunker. Let's go. Guard. I don't know if there's anything else out here. Uh-oh, there is something out here. Alright, weapons ready, people. Oh, is this the, um... No, I think this is a different enemy. We had one disappear. No, it might be the same one. There is an enemy out here. And when I went over here looking for him, yeah, he disappeared again. All right. Well, let's go. There was another area that we should uh, explore. We didn't really get that far down here. stuff out. I know there was... I did throw a guess. Uh-oh. Of course, it's too late to save. I should have saved early. And I didn't. Alright, got it. Are you guys with me? Alright, good. Come on. Okay, can I save now? Yes. I need every bit of experience I can get. Because really, seriously, I miscalculated I the experience trouble. boost. Needed. Alright, we got a Geth Trooper, Caden. Overload, but we'll do double overload. And throw in some warp. Alright, 
Liara. Let's have you lift him. I'll use warp. Alright, got him. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Why can't I move? Okay, can we do a double overload on the same turn? Countermeasure deployed. All right, sabotage, warp. I guess some throw in there too. Got him. Down. Got him. Got him. Is that it? Okay, there was something over here. All targets down. Armature hard decryption. Let's go ahead and get some experience here. Okay, looks like there's nothing in here. Let's keep moving. All right, there's a crate here. Let's easy. Let's see if I can actually do this. Alright, Razor X Pistol, Hurricane X Shotgun, and Medium Krogan Armor. Wow, the Predator MX, that's probably very good, but Rex is wearing um, heavy armor, so let's Omni-Gel it all. Let's see, is there anything else down here we can pick up? I remember one playthrough I did as a soldier and I didn't have anybody with me that had electronics for this uh, decryption thing or decryption, whatever that skill is. Nobody had it, so I had to just leave these crates undisturbed because you can't open them. So you always have to have an electronics expert with you. I think this is it. I think we've cleared this out. That was it, just a few enemies down here, so we are now clear to go. Okay, it should be this way. You always look for this big silver rectangle that tells you which way to go. Took me a while to figure that one out too. And here we are, back at the Mako. Who votes we take the vehicle into the creepy underground bunker? Good idea. The firepower will come in handy. Yeah, because we certainly don't want to walk. Alright, let's see if we can save. Yes. Yeah, but my goal was I was hoping to reach level 60, you know, before I got to the final mission. So, you know, definitely I'll need to do some recalculation. But I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Hey, try to remember why we're here, Saren, the conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy. I am sorry. I was swept up in the moment. I just hope we have the opportunity to study this place in detail after this is done. I thought Saren would have set some kind of trap or ambush for us. They must have been in too much of a hurry. Or we just have yet to run into it. Alright, whatever the case, stay on guard, people. On the wall. Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Something must have gone wrong. This bunker became their tomb. The pods are dead as well as anyone inside. All of them? Uh-oh, what was that? Alright, looks like we've got enemies up here. Whoa! Oh, we got a 
another one. Okay, looks like we got those as well. It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush! I do not think Saren uh -oh. is behind this. Uh-oh. Now look, finally, the Mako flipped over it and isn't recovering. Look at this. Wow. Can we get out of this? Oh, look, it's, it's flipped over on its own. Thank you. Alright, now we're out. You, know, you can't get out while it's on its back. That's interesting. All right, so we have some impenetrable barrier here, it looks like. All right, and there is a doorway. So it looks like we're being guided in this direction. All right, come on, people. So we have something here. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, Chief Overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. One that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. Right, let's find out about the Citadel as a relay. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated and the Reapers invade. Let's find out more about the Reapers and Dark Space. 
How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. Okay, that's all we can discover. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our Empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every central region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. Hmm. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the Relay Network. The conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. How did you survive? I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel Relay. 
There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Hmm. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel Relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. I'll take Sovereign down. Somehow. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Wow, we've got more stuff to investigate. Let's hear more about Sovereign. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secrecy? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to dark space. Let's hear more about these beacons. What about the beacon on Eden Prime? And the one on Vermeer? What were they for? At our apex, the beacons spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion. But once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors, 
But if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope. So a message was sent across the network. You could have exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function, but we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. All right. Don't I think we know all we need to about the keepers? Let's ask about the Prothean scientists. What happened to the survivors from the conduit project? They used the conduit to gain access to the citadel, but the conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. All right, I think we're done here. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. It might know something useful. I will provide whatever information I can. My data banks, however, are limited to information directly related to stopping the Reaper invasion. All right, let's go. I've got the file. Come on. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Oh, right. Got renegade and experience. All right, let's hurry. See if we can't catch up with Sovereign. Not Sovereign, but Saren. Now, I'm noticing a, a pattern here that I didn't quite focus on playing all the, the C's in the game, the conduit, later the crucible, the catalyst, and I think there was one more, but it, it's interesting how they, they uh, use words that start with the letter C. All right, the barrier is down. And we are going to have to pursue Saren and get to the conduit as quickly as possible. And we will do that in our next episode. This is Hill, and I'm out.